What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Mr. Da -da -da Boone back with a reaction video. This time we have Teenage Sniper. Never heard of this. We have a teenager who is a sniper. Don't know when this was. Don't know anything about it. We're going to learn about it. Video down below in the description. Channel link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. Make sure you guys do check it out. With that being said, let's go and jump right in uh, to the reaction and uh, so first thing first we're gonna like let's get into it. During World War II, oh, in the ranks dude. of the Red Army, there were nearly half a million women. Many of them were very young and in their teens. But that didn't stop them from achieving international renown for their bravery on the battlefield. January the 14th, 1944, on the Eastern Front. On the front line, 18-year-old Alia Moldagulova covers her comrades, watching over the battlefield with her rifle, shoulder to shoulder with a fellow sniper. Suddenly, through the scope, she sees a German soldier emerging over the parapet, just ahead of her team of comrades, attempting to crawl through barbed wire. Her heart skips a beat as the enemy pulls out his rifle, faster than the Soviet soldiers can react. She takes aim, steadies her breath, and pulls the trigger. It's a long shot, but Alia has to try. Her bullet strikes square into the German's chest before he gets a chance to fire a single shot. She breathes in and cycles her Mosin Nagant. But my like genie shot. wishes Hit, shot. make me tall. Up and down the line, the soldiers storm the first line of German trenches. But as the advance turns into a melee, distinguishing friend from foe becomes next to impossible. Alia and her sniping partner relocate, getting closer for better aim, but also getting closer to the artillery strikes. She finds a crater, and the pair of snipers resume their work, dispatching target after target ignoring the rain of ordnance crashing down just ahead. She's a, That's crazy. Take a mortar slams the earth, shrapnel flying everywhere and striking her on the left hand. Damn. She grunts in pain and retreats into the crater for cover. She's bleeding badly, but pushing through the pain, Damn. she bandages herself in the field with her partner helping her to stem the bleeding. Ignoring the pain, Alia crawls yeah, back into right position there, and it. sets up her rifle, right resting there, it, it on her wrist, right. and her grim duty yeah. continues. She fires over and over, picking off German helmets over the parapet as her comrades advance up the lines. The pair relocate again, moving swiftly across the war-torn fields. But back in the trenches, a German soldier gets on an abandoned machine gun and he catches a glimpse of the small figures in no man's land. A muzzle flash shines from the German trench and bullets zip all around the pair of snipers. Oh, they sprint for their lives and dive into the safety of a nearby crater. She checks herself as lead strikes the earth around her. She's unharmed, but her rifle isn't. The machine gun has punched straight through her scope. They try to fight back, Aliyah firing despite her shattered scope. But it's obvious she's not hitting anything. Another barrage of bullets hits the dirt around them and force them to hunker down. The snipers watch and see several muzzle flashes behind the parapet. Real fast, let's just talk about this real fast. She is a teenager doing this. Like, all props to her. But this time, it's because the Soviet soldiers oh, reach the machine gun. Yeah, the firing stops and the pair get moving. Along the way, she finds a discarded submachine gun next to a fallen Soviet soldier. Alia takes it and with determination, she tells her partner she's going directly to the front line. She yeah, sprints she across right the battlefield, the entering Dang. the captured trench. She finds a company of Soviet soldiers in the trench, trading fire with yet another layer of defenses further ahead. The men are surprised to see the sniper in the thick of it, but they brief her on the situation. 
Ritchie looks ahead. Artillery and mortars rain down in no man's land, between their position and a second trench further behind. But further on, through the explosions and chaos, Ali Yaf can finally see their target. It's the Nasva railway station, located right over one of the most important logistical arteries of the region. If they can capture it, Germans invading the northwest of the Soviet Union will have their main supply cut right off. A group of Germans rush out of their trench line, charging to the attack. Ali Yaf and her comrades open fire from the parapet, swiftly dispatching the stormtroopers. Two more German counterattacks brave no man's land, and both are violently repelled. The German soldiers are cut down. The Soviet commander screams encouragement, and they charge over the parapet as one. They're instantly greeted by a flurry of gunfire as they hit the deck and crawl towards through fire. Aliyah pushing forward shoulder to shoulder with the men. They crawl until the enemy trench is just a couple of dozen meters of open ground away. Aliyah can see it. It's so close. But suddenly, a machine gun barrage tears through the gathered soldiers. They rush for cover, squeezing in the craters as dirt and bullets slam into the earth. Last month, only one in four people who watched our channel was a subscriber. If we could make that one in three, we'd be well over one million subscribers. If you enjoy this video, we'd really be very grateful for your subscription. Thank you. Aliyah spring you guys do go check out brings into video. action completely from a down below in the description so that way definitely go subscribe to this channel all that good stuff. Her own volition crawling for the machine gun nest. Her small frame serves her well as she inches closer right under his barrage, unnoticed. Many young Soviet women carried one grenade with them. Better to go out in a blaze of glory than be captured by the invaders. But Aliyah reaches down and realizes she doesn't have a grenade. Looking back at her comrade in the crater, she signals. He throws a grenade towards her. She grabs it, gets as close as she I want you to take me to the future. Let her rip. She dare and pulls the pin and lobs it towards the enemy soldier. The explosion silences him. Alia looks back at her platoon and sees carnage. Many lay dead. Among them, the company commander. The men of the platoon seem lost, looking at each other with worried eyes. The fall of their leader, leaving them paralyzed with indecision. Seeing the battle could turn, she desperately implored to the men in their native Kazakh. Soldiers! Let's do this! It works, and up and down the line, the men lurch into the attack, inspired by the 18-year-old, pushing them to move on. Galvanized, they brave the hailstorm of bullets. Yo, so far, props to, props to her. You know what I mean? Like, taking charge, do it. Like, I mean, that's fucking crazy. Props to, props to that. For a shot at victory, they flood into the trench and the two sides clash in brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat. Aliyah fires at whichever German she can as she pushes through the enemy defenses. The men follow her, Aliyah leading the attack from the front as they brave the unknown. And then a German officer rounds the corner, gun in hand. Aliyah tries to fire, but she's too slow with one hand. The enemy shoots her but running on pure adrenaline, she guns him down with her sub with her submachine gun. But that energy is short-lived. Her mind quickly noticing she's been hit. She's forced to sit down, abandoning the push, as the soldiers she rallied earlier carry on without her. As the battle fades, some of the men stop and start rendering emergency aid and dragging her from the battlefield. We can't say for sure whether Ali Yaz's life passed before her eyes, but if it did, it would have brought back hard memories. Abandoned by her father, her mother was shot while collecting leftover potatoes from a farmer's field during the Great Famine in the 1930s. 
Aliyah was just eight years old when her mother died. The rest of her family were either dead or absent, and Aliyah was forced to wander the village and to sleep and eat wherever she could, until her uncle took her in a year later. He would raise her as his own and try to protect her, even trying to get her to leave the front line, but she never would. Her actions that day saved untold lives. The Soviets would successfully repel the Germans from the rail station just a few days later. She would be evacuated to a care station where she would be stabilized and begin recovery. But tragically, it wasn't to be. A German artillery barrage would strike the station, claiming her life. She was credited with 37 kills as a sniper on sniper duty, but her total tally was at least 78, including over 20 enemies from a final fight, with some sources stating that it was more like 90. Aliya Moldagulova would be posthumously awarded the title of the Hero of the Soviet Union for her incredible skill as a sniper and courage in the heat of battle. Today... She was a teenager and a sniper she got in the front lines like, that's crazy. Statues in her honor stand across the former Soviet Union really? and in her home nation of Kazakhstan. Shit, I did not know that. That's good. Shit. R.I.P. Like, damn. And they got, did all of that, got shot, got taken to the medical facility pretty, pretty much, right? And then, like, damn. R.I.P. Let me know what you guys thought about the video down below in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Positivity is key. Motivation is key. Happiness is key. You guys watch out for each other. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys in the next video.